Today, Iraq sits at a crossroad. Daesh, at least temporarily, is defeated. Kirkuk has been retaken by the Iraqi central government, and the Kurdish regional government faces financial and political crisis. This is all in the run-up to a set of national elections in May this year. Against this background, the Middle East Center ran a workshop in January looking at Baghdad's relations with the, the rest of Iraq and looking at Iraq's future. Papers outlined uh, the legitimacy crisis in the Kurdish regional government. A Prime Minister Abad's attempt to reintegrate Kurdistan back into Iraq, but also the problems that the Prime Minister faces in gaining control over the Hashtashabi, this coalition of militias that fought Daesh in trying to rebuild the Iraqi army and combat corruption. All of these issues will come to the fore in the May 2018 elections, and those elections will decide whether Iraq follows a path of greater stability, rising democratic legitimacy and more coherence, or it retains its, uh, this process of state collapse and reconstitution and violence that has dominated Iraq's history since invasion and regime change in 2003. The Hashid now developed into a military political grouping that now is running for elections in one electoral block. This electoral bloc uh, includes 19 of the Hashid formations. By the way, there are 54. And some of them, uh, are <clears throat> they have like, they lead some kind of private wars, if you like. And as such, they are pro-Iran. They are for uh, Shi'i majoritarian rule. They are for a heavy-handed kind of uh, uh, treatment or confrontation with the protest movement. They are for intervention in Syria to support Assad. They are for uh, kicking out the Americans. So they have this kind of uh, political line that contradicts with the centrist line. At least that was uh, announced by the uh, uh, incumbent Prime Minister Abadi. Decentralization is not overtly being linked to the upcoming elections, but I think it definitely will play a part. Because what we'll see in the upcoming elections is a, f a, a weaker representation of uh, certain parts of the country in parliament. So the question then has to be, what does that mean for the way on a sort of a provincial level um, priorities are set and popular demands are met. And if they can't be met at a central level because of weak representation and weak institutions, then provinces become much more prominent and play a bigger role in the future of, of uh, sort of the viability of the country. Terrorism is a work in progress. Um, when you look at the relationship between Baghdad and the Kurdistan region, uh, a lot of issues have uh, come up over the last two or three years. Um, and this has raised questions in the other provinces in Iraq about how their relationship should be um, with the center. Given the recent developments in the Kurdistan region, the uh, failing like referendum uh, of September 25th uh, referendum, and the current financial crisis and the economic hardship that has impacted the whole of Kurdistan, I think people are ready to make uh, new choices and to choose new representatives to deal with Baghdad. Sort of in the longer term, an apportionment of power on the basis of many of the same fundamental factors that, have that governments have been based on since 2003. Now, there could be surprises. I think if there are surprises, it will come from the likes of Muqtada Sada supporters, and um, perhaps some secular groups that are able to capture popular imagination. Um, you may see some surprises out of Kurdistan as well. But the indications are right now that any change will be marginal and that Prime Minister Abadi stands a very good chance of getting a second term. The military crackdown of those protests shows how significant they were and could have been. And we've never seen that kind of military crackdown um, of protests um, in Suli, when you had actually PUK forces um, cracking down against their own constituencies. The protests show that they're, the elites um, of the Kurdistan regional government have lost popular legitimacy. You know, 
the region, Iraq, uh, Kurdistan, uh, we're going through important period, you know, elections uh, are coming up. So well-timed, uh, very useful, uh, and I hope it will add something positive to the larger debate about Iraq.